Hello everyone, it's Bobby from Dig Coding here and this is the 17th video in the building and launching a real Django website series. So, last video, link to it is up there. We've bought a template, a HTML template from off a web page somewhere. I use Theme Forest and I've downloaded all of the HTML files, all of the static files, so CSS and JavaScript and libraries that are necessary to make the website look great. I've downloaded it. In fact, the template I downloaded had over 1,000 files, so it was quite a big beast. I think I had 29 different options on HTML. You may have selected something somewhat smaller, maybe 100 files, but the files it is quite substantial. So what we're going to do today is we are going to open up some of those files, select the templates that we want to use for the project, and start moving them across to our projects that we can actually start seeing them online rather than just in a directory. So, look at my screen. Black, it's my sublime text. So, but you can see here on the left hand side, I've got it open in the project did demo, and I've also got a browser, um, sorry, a file browser here, did demo, it's open in a project also. You can see that I've got a directory here called fancy HTML. That's where I saved, that's where I extracted the files from the zip file that I downloaded. And remember, I, it was Camille that I downloaded. It's got a file here called documentation. Yeah, there you go. If we open up indexed, it will, it will open up and it will tell us all about the website and what you've got to do. We're not going to use the documentation because I'm making a video tutorial about it. We don't need the documentation for this. But no, if you come stuck, have a look at your doc file. There might be a readme file. Have a look. It will give you a rundown of any necessary things that you've got to do to make the template work on your system. Some templates need it, but to be fair, I don't come across it that often. So that's the documents index file. Let's go back into the directory. They've then got a st so that's the style. That's the CSS file and the assets file for the documentation. So think assets. That's our static files. And that would, in our project, that, that index file would be our HTML template. So you need all of these assets to launch that documentation. Uh, sorry, the, yeah, the documentation um, web page that we just opened. So that's kind of what we're going to do now. We're going to unpack the Camille template. So click into that and you can see here, let me make it bigger. These are all of the web pages, all of the HTML templates that we get from that package. Now, all of them will be huge. There'll be thousands and thousands and thousands of lines. So they're individual, they're not extending one another. They are just standalone HTML pages. So when you click on one, let's go with index. So these are the different indexes. Remember it said I had 29 versions. You've got index, you've got index app landing, blah, 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 blah. Right, here we go, creative agency one. Let's open that one. I think that was the one I liked online. So if we open that, there we have it. It's very, very different. Why? Because the images, you don't download the images because of licensing and things like that, right? So they just give you an image with the size that it needs to be to be rendered correctly on screen. But in terms of the functionality, right, it's got the slider. So you click that, yeah, it goes through. It'll have the wording, it'll have little buy now buttons. It's got the, the little pop out there on the right hand side with my, that's kind of a contact us pop out. You'd have a search button here. These are all, this is all the functionality that I loved, right? And shop, so I've got a full whip shop there. So, and, and if you notice when I click on one of them, what it does, it then opens up a different HTML document. So it's in fancy HTML, Camille, shop full width HTML. So each, although they're standalone HTML documents, they're all interlinked. So all of the links, the hyperlinks, all of the A tags in the HTML will be pointing to different HTML documents that, and mapped in the directory that you've downloaded. So if we go back, Creative Agency 1, if I go here, there's probably, there you go, there's Creative, there's one, two, three. We can navigate that directory that we saw in the um, browser here, sorry, in the uh, directory. They will be navigating through those HTML documents. So go through your directory that you've downloaded and identify the HTML document that you want to use for each of your pages. We've got a home page, we've got an about, and a media, and a contact. And what you need to do is you want to take the home page, so the, we'll call that index, we'll take that and we will move that into our project. That's the first thing we want to do. So we'll just copy that one, go into did demo, we'll go into main, 
we're going to templates, then we'll save it into the main directory. Just paste it in there. If we now open that up from there, it will look poor. There you go. It will look poor because we've moved it away from the directory. So the HTML document doesn't know where the CSS files are. It doesn't know where the assets are. So this is raw HTML and that is what this page looks like with no static files. And that's our starting point. That is where we begin. Taking a template that we've bought online and implementing it into our project. This is it. This is what you're looking at, right? So our, our aim in this video is to start breaking down these templates, adding CSS, JavaScript, and other libraries to our static um, directory in our project so that it actually renders a page that looks good, right? So that's what we're doing. So we've added that one template. We won't move anything else in there, but what we'll do, we will change the name of it. So rename, and we'll call this base v2. There we go. That's our new, that will become our new base template. So then we'll go back into the fancy pants HTML directory. And now what we're looking for is assets. And it's right at the top. Sometimes it's called, cool. sometimes you won't have an assets file. Sometimes in the directory, you'll just have a CSS file, a JavaScript file, an images file. If I can, I can guarantee you if I clicked in there, that is exactly what I would see. So click in there you go. We've got CSS fonts, images, JS, PHP, and SCSS. They are the assets. They are our static files that need to be delivered to that HTML document to render something that we want to see on screen. So what we'll do, we will, we will just copy that file, that directory, and we will dump it in our statics directory. So we will paste. So when I said we had over a thousand files and what I downloaded, 924 are coming from the assets. The reason for that is because there's gonna be certain assets, certain CSS files and JavaScript and other libraries that this is using in the template that will be used on some of those 29 examples and not others but you need all of the assets for the template that we've downloaded. So I could go through that with a fine tooth comb and probably delete 400 of them. I'm not gonna do that. You know, a thousand files isn't the end of the world. We'll just work with what we've got. So we've now got an assets file in our static directory. We've got CSS, fonts, images. So what we now need to do is we need to open up Sublime Text, open up the new base version two HTML document in Sublime Text, and make some changes. Now, with Sublime Text being a uh, text editor, it makes it quite easy to make some changes here. So, main templates, main base version two. So if we go to base, let's just edit it a little bit so we don't disappear. So if we've got base HTML, which is the one we're currently using for the project. The first thing that we're installing is we're loading static so we have access to our static directory. That's what we need to do. We can copy that. We don't need to be typing everything. But you can see, like with my uh, template that I added to the project a few videos ago, base HTML, the first line is doc type HTML. Same as HTML is HTML. It doesn't matter if you're in a Django project, a React, a Flask, it doesn't matter what the framework is that you're using. HTML is HTML doesn't change. So all of the tags are the same. So we've got a HTML tag or a head tag. We'll have a body tag. We'll have meta tags. You get the drift, right? So save version two. So we now have access to static. So we want to go down. So if we minimize head, minimize body, all of a sudden, look, we've got 1,339 lines of HTML code. In my, in my version, we've got 32 lines. So that's the difference between a beautiful page and, and a crappy one that we've got. Right, so I see time's ticking. I don't want this video to be much more than 15 minutes long, so I'm gonna plow on. So back in a version two, we focus our attention quickly just on the head. So uh, we've got meta, 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 meta. We won't change any of those. We can change the title to did demo. We've got a um, did demo. There's a whole bunch of tags that we need to add to help with SEO, on-site SEO. So we'll do that later, that's not a problem. So what we want to do is we want to find the first href, which is here, it's a link. 
And what that is currently doing is pointing to an asset. So when we were in the directory, did demo, go to fancy pants and go to Camille. It, any one of these documents is referring to a, um, another directory. What it's doing is looking for assets, then it's looking for the CSS directory and then a file within that directory. So that's the, um, that's where it's looking. So it's assets, then it's looking for image, then it's looking for Flavicon ICO. That syntax won't change. This document is always gonna be looking in the assets. What we've done is we've changed where that asset is now located. So an easy way of changing this in a HTML document on Sublime Text, it might be different for other text editors, but this is Sublime Text. So what I like to do is I highlight the speech marks, assets, slash, and press Control H. And then what that will allow us to do is to find and replace every time that string is found in the HTML document. And we wanna replace it with where we have just put that directory. So, and we do that by accessing static because it's in the static directory. And you use the static template tag. And this is the syntax, static. That's the static tag, the template tag, single speech mark, and we want assets. And because we've got the forward slash in there as well. So now this syntax or, or string will be replaced with this string, which is exactly what we want. Replace all. Then what we need to do, we need to replace every time we find dot ICO, which should only be once to be fair. And we want to replace that with dot ICO, single speech mark, space, percentage, wiggly bracket, and then speech marks. So what we're trying to do, we're trying to find, we're trying to remap the assets to the HTML document because the HTML document can't find those assets that were making it look good. We're remapping it. Replace all. And now I go through in a certain order. Now I do the CSS. So I'll find all, every time it says .css, remap the .css. So, oh sorry, I want .css. Okay, do you understand what I'm doing here? So I'm replacing that with, as in .css speech marks, with .css single speech marks, percentage, curly bracket, speech marks. Because I'm changing the syntax, because when I'm done with it, if I put replace all, you can see now that where that did say asset CSS style.css, it now says, it is now a valid Django template tag. So that will map that to that CSS document. So if we look in static, so it's static, assets, CSS, style. So static, assets, CSS, and in here we should find a style.css. That will work, that is bang on. We don't need to do anything more with that. So the next thing we want to do is uh, open up the body, so that's all of the head. Uh, what have we got? No, 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 well, we won't need that. Uh, we need, now need to find all of that. If you scroll down here, if you look at my mouse, we're looking for PNG. So we need to do PNGs. We'll also need to do JPEGs. So Control H, change this CSS to PNG, replace all, and then Control H and change or add dot JPG oh. and change all J, so JPEGs. Place all. Now do it again, and this time we'll do uh, GIFs. So dot GIF. Looks like there isn't any. Actually, let's see if we can find dot GIF. Find there isn't any. Find MP4. So there's no MP4s. So that's going to be most of them, to be fair. CSS. The um, what was the first one we looked at? The uh, ICO. Then we looked at PNG, now we're looking at JPEGs. So I will, I will also look for JPEG sometimes. No, it's not. So the next one is .js. Oh, and it's there. So we now need to map all of the JS files. You can see that static has already been added because we've done the Control H and replaced all. So Control H and .js, change this to JS and replace all and save. Now, 
if we go into our views, so we'll need to map it to a different HTML document now, rather than looking at main index, we will be looking at main base v2, save. Right, so we'll go back in here and we'll go to did demo and we'll go to, we'll open up a CMD, we'll drag the CMD across and we will go work on did demo. Now we want to go python manage.py py run server. Open up a browser and go incognito, control shift n and go localhost and right that's doing something that looks a lot better than what it did right so it's pulling some of the libraries i may have missed let's have a look let's go in console so the inspection panel developer inspection panel and click on console you can see here we've got um a lot of jpegs that aren't being found so o1.jpg what have I done wrong there? Okay, let's have a look. Go back in a base V2. Find JPG. Oh, did I not change that? Okay, so Control H. I thought I changed the JPEGs, but I must have been talking over myself. And replace all. Save. And go back into this and refresh. There we go. Oh, there's a few others that we're looking for here. So, oh, SVG. So we now need to change SVG. I didn't look for that. Control H. If you go dot SVG and then change this to dot SVG, we'll then remap the SVG files. Control Save and then refresh the browser. And it's looking like there's a couple of others that can't be fine found. Look, we'll fix those in a second. Don't want to um, debug what I've done. It's, the video is like 18, 20 minutes long. So that is what we've done so far. What we've done is we've got that template from the download that we've got. We've selected the one we wanted. We've remapped, we've added it into our main templates folder. And then we've remapped all of the assets to the file, to the HTML file. So now it's starting to render something that looks a lot better than it did a few moments ago. You can see as I scroll down, it's got all of the um, fancy pants bits, all of the elements, which is brilliant, right? That's the end of this video. In the next video, we'll have a more of a deeper dive on adding these HTML documents to our project. But that's it for now. You don't want to be watching it for much longer. So don't forget to su subscribe and like this or subscribe to the channel and like this video. It's a massive help. Thank you for watching. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.